Hey everybody, Jonathan here, and we're going to be going over a 20 minute exercise today for your abdominals, your obliques, and a little bit of your core. Now we're going to be going one minute full range, 30 seconds variation with a 10 second break. We're going to be going from our hands and our knees onto our back, starting with the right oblique and then moving over to the left. You don't need to worry about the time. You're just going to listen to me and do the best that you can. What we're going to be doing today is we'll be doing a bird dog crunch. And then we'll go onto our backs to do a crunch over to the right side. And I'll be sure to give you your modifications and your intensifications. So go ahead and start on your mat. Now we're going to separate our knees shoulder width apart. Your hands are going to be shoulder width apart as well. We're going to lift up your right arm first. And then we're going to lift up your left leg second. You want to make sure that there's a soft bend in your elbow. Draw the belly button up into the spine. We're going to start crunching in three, two, in one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, and four. We're exhaling as we slowly bend our right elbow and our left knee into the belly button as we tuck our chin into our chest. And then we inhale as we slowly lengthen our limbs out, untucking the chin. It's important that you have a 60% of weight into the right knee and then 40% of weight into the left wrist, remembering to keep the core engaged, drawing the belly button to the spine. If you want to be mindful very quickly of your left wrist, as soon as you draw the belly button up and in towards the spine, you'll feel a little bit less pressure into the wrist, taking breaks anytime that you need to. If you ever need a break, you can set down both your hands and then modify by bending the left knee in as you tuck your chin. Limbs will extend right now. Extend out, soft bend in the elbow, belly button to spine, down two inches with limbs, up two inches with limbs. Now, as we're pulsing, make sure you have a soft bend in your left elbow and make sure that your weight isn't dumping into the right hip. Make sure that the hips are squared Inhaling down with gravity, exhaling as you go up against gravity. We're not here for much longer. Four, three, two, and done. Drop down the hands and knees, rotate the wrist or rotate the shoulders. And we're gonna get down on our backs and get ready in three, two, and let's go. Bring your legs to tabletop. Bring your hands behind your head, extend the left leg, and then begin lifting your back off the floor to crunch to the right, and then crunching forward interchangeably. Now make sure that you're not crowding your elbows and your arms into your face. Keep the arms out like wings. And then it's not about the elbow going to the right knee. It's about the left shoulder going towards the right knee. Now what we're doing is we're doing a side crunch, twisting on an exhale. Breathing in as you go down, and then alternating by going forward into your crunch. You want to imagine a ball, a tennis ball, whatever you want to imagine, in between your chin and your chest. And we're lifting from the chin and the chest, pressing down the tailbone, lifting the shoulders up as we twist towards the right. Now let's hold our crunch, arms out in front of us. Breathe through this. We're going to start reaching in four, three, two, up, down, up, down. Exhale up and breathe in down, reaching forward to the left toe that is extended. Relax your neck. If you need to rest, drop your head. Go up and relax. Almost there. Three, two, and done. You have a 10 second break. We're going to go up onto our hands and our knees again. And we're going to start that bird dog position right now. Lift up the right arm, lift up the left leg, soft bend in your elbow, belly button to spine. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, and four. Remember 60% of weight into the right knee, 40% of weight into the left. Now be mindful of your movements. When you're crunching, we're using the abdominal muscles, drawing the belly button to the spine and kind of folding or 
squeezing our abdominals as we tuck our chin into our chest. Remember, 60% of weight into the right knee, 40% of weight into the left wrist, and do not let your right hip sag or lean out towards the right. We're keeping the hip squared as much as possible. Use the top of your foot on the right side and press it down if you need that help. Taking breaks when you need to, but modify first by bringing both hands down and bending the knee under as you tuck your chin. Go ahead and lengthen your arms, soft bend in the elbow, belly button to spine, and pulse down and up. Remember, we're lifting our leg by the squeezing of our glutes, not your left lower back. If you feel it more in your left lower back, I need you to think more about your glutes and squeeze the glutes as you lift your leg. And we're not raising our arms just by raising them. We're actually using the shoulders. Inhale down and exhale up. You have three, two, and done. Go down to your hands and knees to sit. And then rotate the wrists one way. Rotate them the other way. And lay down. We're going to get ready in three, two, and one. Bring your legs to tabletop. Extend the left leg out. Hands behind your head. Now exhale as you twist up into the right Bring in the left shoulder to the right knee. Inhale down and exhale forward, slow and controlled. If at any time that you need a break, you can modify first by lowering down your head completely instead of keeping your head lifted. And I'll show you right now. We're gonna rest down our head completely. Exhale, twist up and right. Lower down, rest your head, and then up. On an exhale, remember we're not straining our neck and we're not bringing our elbows in. We keep the elbows out and you want to breathe in down with gravity and then exhale up against gravity, keeping those arms out like a wing. You got 10 seconds before we pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and done. Extend your arms forward and pulse up and down, up and down. Exhale, inhale. Remember, if your neck starts to bug you, lay down completely, reach up, slowly go down. Lift the shoulders, press down the tailbones, reaching your fingers towards your toes. We're not here for much longer. Five, four, three, two, and done. We got one more rep. Go ahead and rotate those wrists. Shake out your neck if you need to. We're gonna go up to our hands and our knees again. Three, two, and hands and knees wide apart. Lift up the right arm first, lift up the left leg second. Now start bending one, two, three, four, out one, two, three, and four. You wanna breathe in as you extend because it's easier and you wanna exhale as you slowly bend the joints in towards the belly button because it takes a little bit more effort that way. If you ever wanna intensify these exercises, you can put on bala weights, you can put on any kind of brand of wrist or ankle weights. If you got two pairs, you can definitely use it on your hands and your ankles. You can also hold little weights, no matter what the pound is in your extended arm. And that'll give you a little bit more of a challenge. I love bird dog because it's working out your core, oblique, abdominals, arms, shoulders, and triceps. Four, three, two, extend out, soft bend in the elbow, belly button to spine, pulse down and up, down and up. Inhale down and exhale up. Remember, we're squeezing from our glutes and we're raising our arms by our shoulders. You have less than 13 seconds. And then we're all done with this right side for bird dog. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Go ahead and rotate out those wrists. Shake out that shoulder if you need to. We're going to go ahead and lay down on our back and bring our legs to tabletop. And here we go. Extend the left leg long hands behind your head, and let's get started. Exhale as you lift the shoulders off, twisting to the right, connecting the elbow, shoulder I mean, to the right knee. Remember, it's not about 
using the neck. It's about using your abdominals and folding and crunching them in, pressing down the tailbone, exhaling as you go up, breathing in as you go down. If this ever becomes too tiring, you can bring your legs to tabletop. This will be a little bit easier. If you have a Pilates ball, a yoga block, you can definitely put it in between the knees and squeeze the knees together. And what that'll do is help you engage a little bit more of your pelvic floor and a little bit of the inner thighs. We're not here for much longer. We're gonna be going into your pulses in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come up, arms extend, pulse forward and up, down and out. Exhale up, breathe in down. My neck is starting to get a little strained, so rest my head, come up, slowly go down. Exhale, inhale down. Good, and try to go slow and controlled. Breathe. Good, almost there. Four, three, two, and done. All right, we got about eight seconds before we go to the other side. We're gonna roll over, get up onto our hands and our knees, and other side we go. Go ahead and first lift up your left arm, and then lift up your right leg. We're gonna start that bend in three, two, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, and four. Remember we're exhaling as we bend the elbows into the belly button, tucking the chin, and then inhaling as we lengthen our limbs and untuck the chin. 60% of weight into the left knee, 40% of weight into the right wrist, and draw the belly button into the spine. Remember your modification when you get tired is to set down both your hands and crunch forward with your knees as you tuck your chin into your chest. And then when you're tired or if your shoulders or wrists are bugging you, you're more than welcome to take a break. We're not here for very much longer. You got 12 seconds and less before we go into your pulses. Here we go. Three, two, extend, soft bend and elbow, belly button to spine, limbs go down and up, down and up. Lifting our legs through our glutes and lifting our arms by our shoulders with that soft bend in the right elbow. We're going to be going down to our backs very soon. Three, two, and done. Drop down the hands and knees, rotate the wrists, shake out the shoulders. And we're gonna go down to our backs and the other leg, the right, will be extended. Meet me low, extend the right leg out, hands behind your temples, and then let's get started. Exhale as you lift, twist, shoulder to left knee. Inhale as you go down slowly. Exhale as you go up and forward. Inhale down and back. You can interlock your fingers behind your head. You can just have your hands behind your head. And what I like to do is just rest my heavy head on top of my hands and make sure that I'm not pulling my neck forward like this. It's rested flat on top of my hands, interlaced or not. And I'm pressing down my tailbone, lifting from my chin and my chest and folding the abs together as I exhale up against gravity. We're not here for much longer. We got those pulses coming up next. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lift the shoulders, arms out in front of us. Exhale up, inhale down. Remember, anytime that you need to modify, both knees can be on tabletop. If your neck starts to bug you, lift up, slowly go down, resting your head, and exhale up again whenever you're ready. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest and rotate them or rotate your knees. We're going to go back round two. 
Puff on our hands and knees. First, extend the left arm, then extend the left right leg. We're gonna start in three, two, and bend. One, two, three, four, extend one, two, three, and four. Exhale as you bend the joints towards the belly button, tucking the chin. Inhale as you release, untucking the chin. 60% of weight into the left knee, 40% of weight into the right wrist, making sure you keep that belly button to spine to engage the core. Make sure that the left hip isn't sagging over to one side. You're keeping your hips level, exhaling slowly. Almost there, breathe. We got those pulses coming up next. We're gonna be extending the left and the right arm outwards and quickly resetting our form before we pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and extend. Soft bend and elbow, belly button to spine, pulse down and up, down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Squeeze your glutes to lift your leg. Use your shoulder to lift your arm. Almost there. One side's always going to be a little bit stronger, but it's good to work these single sides to equal out everything. Five, four, three, two, and done. Go ahead and rotate out your wrist, shake off your shoulders, and go ahead and go down to the back. We're gonna be laying down with the right leg extended in two, and legs tabletop, right leg out, fingers behind the head. And when you're ready, exhale up, slow and controlled, and then inhale down. We're keeping the right leg extended for a challenge, crunching up into the left, Bring in the right shoulder to the left knee, inhaling down, exhaling up, and then remembering if you need to modify both legs together, tabletop position. Don't strain your neck. Try not to use the elbow. Sometimes what happens is the elbow will go in like this, and then we're crowding the shoulders inward. But I want you to try to keep the arms out or the elbows out like they're wings. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up with the shoulders, arms out, exhale up and forward, inhale down. Good, keep it up everybody. We're not here for much longer. We're here just for 30 seconds. If you need to modify both the knees together or rest your head all the way down and crunch up. Almost through this. Six, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, 10 second break. We got our last two reps and then we're all done. Going back up onto the knees and the hands, shoulder width and hip width apart. Lift up your left arm, lift up your right leg, and we're going to start your crunches in three, two, in one, two, three, four. Extend one, two, three, four. Exhale, bend, tuck, inhale, lengthen, untuck the chin. I started to think about what I can do to give back to the community. I've talked to a lot of you that tell me that you don't have time, even with social media, you don't have the time to do this and that. But if you can incorporate these exercises and go slow, it'll give you a little bit more higher heart rate without making it high impact. So this should be a little bit low impact, high intensity. You can always intensify it with weights. You can always modify. Remember both hands down and bending the knees forward if you need to. Extend your arms out, soft bend and elbow, belly button to spine, pulse down and up. I just wanted to give you the tools and the resources to be able to not tell yourself that you don't have time. You got time to watch TV. You can wake up a little bit earlier, sleep earlier. If working out before you go to sleep helps you, 
These are 20 minute exercises and you can compound all the videos together to make a longer exercise if you'd like. You have three, two, and done. We made it to the last exercise. We're gonna go ahead and flip around. Go down to on our back, lay down with our legs to tabletop. Extend the right leg out forward, hands behind your head. And when you're ready, start exhaling up, twisting to the left, right shoulder to the left knee. Inhaling as you go down, exhaling as you go up. Don't strain your neck. We're not pulling the neck up and forward. We're pretending that there's a grapefruit or a tennis ball, whatever you want to imagine. And we're just pressing down our tailbone, lifting the shoulders and twisting the shoulders from the right shoulder to the left knee. Breathing in as you go down, exhaling as you come up. Remembering that if your neck ever starts to bug you, feels discomforting, rest all the way down. Exhale up and forward. Inhale down. Exhale up and left. Slow and control. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and up. Arms extend. Exhale up two inches. Down. Inhale. I'm pressing my tailbone down, reaching my fingers forward, folding the abdominals inward like an accordion. Almost there, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Rest your head, bring your knees to your chest, hug your hands and the legs, and rock from side to side. And you're done. Have a wonderful start to your day. Stretch however you need to. And I'll see you next time.